morning so I wanted to come on and do a nursery tour finally and um, we had most everything done in McLean's nursery there's still a couple things I'd like to do but it is pretty good for right now so I was going to show y'all what we have so this is the door coming in um, and it's a little hallway with a bathroom Hudson's room and then it goes into the kitchen um, but so then this is the wall right here we have the mirror uh, and then this is a little craft I saw on Pinterest and I've done one for both the babies they both have them hanging in their nurseries I think it's so cute um, and then here is her dresser and this is the changing station obviously I got these little um, baskets at Hobby Lobby they're just little like not wicker but that kind of material um, and one I just keep diapers and wipes and then in this one, we just have kind of some miscellaneous. Look at these little sunglasses. Are those not the cutest things ever? Um, just some Q-tips, a brush, a little nose sucker, a lotion. And then this is um, pacifiers that are too small and headbands that are too small. Just until I can find somewhere better to put them. Uh, it wasn't going to be my place to keep pacifiers, but uh, most of them end up in the kitchen. So that's just become something else uh, and then the little changing table I have a wipes warmer there's no wipes in there now we don't I don't change her as often in her room it's usually in the living room because I have both of them so the wipes kept drying out so I haven't decided what to do but I still have the wipe warmer there and a little lamp and then I have the diaper genie a little hamper that I got at Target that's that uh, nylon I guess it's kind of material um, it's pretty good size, and there's a trash can for cloth diapering. We have not cloth diapered with her yet, um, but I have that just in case we do decide to. Then I want to get something to put on that wall. just haven't decided what I want to put. Um, here's a little bow hanger that I made. I actually bought the frame at Goodwill. It was this ugly wooden frame that had a puzzle in it, and it was like $2.00. So I took the puzzle out, my sister-in-law helped me paint it, and then I just got um, hot glued some ribbon. And I'll tell you a trick that I do, probably because I'm part hoarder, but I, like this ribbon right here is the ribbon that came on a Carter's blanket. Um, the other ribbon is one just ribbon that I had, but I always save the ribbon that comes, you know, blankets and towels and it's a good thing to use you know either to make hair bows or projects like this and then you don't have to buy the ribbon um, but so I made that for I'd say three bucks in total uh, then we have this wall and we have um, a curtain I do have the blackout curtains from Target in the hot pink and then the glider and a little um, string of lights I don't really ever turn them on but just more for decoration and then this little you probably can't tell much but that little chandelier that I got at Ikea for about $20 um, and then right here somebody gave us this uh, Moses basket it was like a hand-me-down and it's not in great shape but so I've just put it here and we have so many blankets for her that I just kind of store all of her blankets in there like the bigger ones this is a little nightstand. Um, one of her, sorry, the lighting in here is not great. Uh, it's one of her newborn pictures. And then just a candle, piggy bank. And these are some of the little salt dough footprints that I've made. Um, in the top drawer, I keep photo stuff. Uh, her monthly stickers, the little chalk sign. Um, some of the outfits that we've had for pictures. And then this bottom one is some of the lighter blankets, um, swaddle blankets, the muslin ones. Um, and here, I need a better way to store her toys. I've got like one basket and then they're all kind of just stacked. But so, there's some of the toys. Hudson, um, especially like Sunday mornings when we're getting ready for church. And so I'm kind of in a rush and trying to get them both ready. Uh, he'll be in and out and so he likes to play with some of the toys here in her room. And then this is her crib. We got this crib from a friend of ours. Actually, the um, people that I babysit for, that I pick up their little girl, this was her crib. Um, so they gave it to us, which we were so grateful for. And so it was just the white crib. There's an extra crib mattress that we had that the little girl I keep was sleeping on until McLean started sleeping in here. I just haven't 
I don't have anywhere else to put it, so for right now, it's kind of just hanging out under there. Uh, and this is what's above her crib. Um, these were just from a baby shower that I had. Uh, my sister-in-law helped me kind of string them up and make that little mobile-like thing on the ceiling. And then my other sister-in-law um, actually made this. This was an old frame that they had in their house, and she um, painted it pink, and then that is cork that she did white. So she was giving it to me to use as, like, a, um, you know, put pictures and stuff on. But I, one of my friends was over and thought, you know, suggested this idea to do her monogram, which I love. So I cut that, um, the letters out on my Cricut and just taped them on there. So has her monogram above her crib. Um, this is the quilt, I'm not sure if I've shown it before, um, that a friend made for her nursery. That's the hot pink and teal. Um, I know the colors aren't showing up great because the lighting is not good in here. Um, so I've just got that hanging on the back for now. Uh, a little sleep sheep and then just a little teddy bear in there. She doesn't, she sleeps swaddled so she doesn't move around the crib. So that's why there's things in here now. I usually keep a burp cloth down um, in case she spits up so I don't have to change the whole sheet. And then I just have this little blanket that I put over her to keep her warm. Um, the back of the house does kind of get cold sometimes. And then over here we have this little sign that I got at Hobby Lobby. Though she be but little, she is fierce. I thought that was a great little saying. And then this is her closet. So it's kind of like an organized chaos right now. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it. Um, we have the clothes hanging and I need to better organize the clothes. It's pretty much just the middle is where I keep the ones that she's in now. Those that she's outgrown to the right and those that she's yet to grow into to the left. Um, I got this little rack of yard sale and I keep, you know, at the bottom there's tutus and there's swim covers and little hats, just kind of miscellaneous. And then we've been very blessed to get a lot of hand-me-downs, but I don't have room to store them. So the, there's a container and some bags of hand-me-downs that are kind of just pushed over to the side because we have nowhere else to keep them. We don't have the best storage here, um, so they're there. And then I have another big box. That box is um, hand-me-downs as well. So we're very lucky in that we've gotten so many hand-me-downs. It's just trying to find a place to keep them in the meantime. Um, and then I was going to show you a little bit about the dresser and the way I have it organized. It has three um, shelves, three drawers at the top that are kind of short and thin. And then three deeper drawers and then the two bottom ones. So um, in this top one I just keep socks. I've got some baby legs back there. Um, when she was first born, I kept like the newborn hats in there. This middle one, I have headbands. Most of the bows are over on the wall, but then here I have um, a lot of the headbands and other pieces for her hair. This was one of her Easter ones. Is that not so cute? I love it. And then this is for burp cloths, which I just re I just did laundry and restocked it, so it's stuffed full. Um, and then here, and I've tried to keep it organized. I just redid all this, so we'll see how long it stays this organized. Um, but we have pants, and then these are bloomers, and then these are skirts and shorts. And then that's what this kind of dresser is kind of hard because it has these the short drawers so you can't put clothes on the top and then these big huge deep ones so it's kind of hard to keep it organized but in this one i've got which you probably won't be able to see at all i've got onesies stacked right here i've got like just tops and dresses here and then like little one piece romper outfits stacked up there so from hand-me-downs and then stuff that we've bought she has a lot of clothes. She will not be able to wear all these clothes, but they're all so cute. And then this is sleepers. It's not very organized. They're just kind of thrown in there. This bottom drawer, um, these are the swaddles um, that we have, some extra swaddles. Those are her bathing suits and then just kind of some miscellaneous stuff. Um, some of my sorority sisters, they gave us this little bib, um, CTA Legacy, and then those two on the bottom, um, 
the big bows. I love them. So this is just kind of the randomness. And in this drawer we have, you see I bought these little things at Target or Ikea I think that are the drawer organizers but they don't fit in many of the drawers. So um, we have shoes and then these are just white onesies or onesies that Hudson had that could possibly work for her that aren't too boyish um, that are kept down there. So that I'll give you, I'm trying to back up and give you the overview again. This is her nursery. Nothing too crazy or special, but I love it. I think it's cute. So yeah, if y'all have any ideas of something I can put on the wall right there, let me know. Um, but I hope you like it and see you guys later.